So in this video, we are going to be parsing a new candidate to Bullhorn. So the way we do that is candidate uh, email. Usually the resume comes in through email. <clears throat> Sometimes you'll get it through going out on a job board and downloading it from Indeed. But whatever way you get it, it's always the same in the beginning, which is to download the resume to your computer. So the way that I do this first is I go to the email that has the resume. And here's an email and here's the attached resume. So I'm gonna hit the download button. And there it goes into my downloads folder. It will then drag it to the bowling alley in Bullhorn, which is right here. It'll highlight, I let go, and it will complete itself. So when it completes, it'll come up with a screen that will self-populate. And you want to make sure that it doesn't do this here, in that most of the time you will find it highlight or it capitalizes every letter of the entire name. And we don't want it capitalizing the entire name because when we do mass emails and we say dear first name, we don't want it to say dear and then yell Tierra because uh, it'll sound look like a mass email. So we just have to fix this Tierra and then on tap. And then all these little red dots indicate fields that you are going to need to populate with something, otherwise it will not save for you. So the reason these are important is because these fields are ones we use when we do searches for candidates for certain uh, technologies, say, that they haven't experienced before. We need to track where all of our candidates are coming from. So all of these must be filled out in order to save so you're just looking through making sure that the fields got filled, especially email and phone number. <clears throat> but uh, status, uh, this is a person who is an active candidate. Active meaning they're looking for work, they sent the resume direct. Passive meaning you found it or it was sent to you by someone else uh, and you can figure out the rest of them. Um, and then of course ERP, CRM technology, a lot of the resumes you will find will have people that are experienced in Acumatica or Sage. This is Sage and the Sage products include X3, 100, 300, 500. Uh, the Dynamics products include AX, NAV, GP, SL, etc. You will learn, or if you don't already know, you will learn those products so you'll be able to fill out this part appropriately. So in this case, these people don't have ERP experience, so I'm gonna go not applicable. Source was actually a personal recommendation, a personal referral from someone, someone who is not on the system, so I'm not going to put a referred by because she's a personal friend. So there's that, and then everything here looks pretty filled out. I am kind of weird, so I need to make formats look perfect. So I do, and all of this is correct in its right place. And then finally, when you're at the bottom, you're gonna hit save. And that is how you parse the resume to Bullhorn of a candidate who is not currently already on the system.